Hey gun people, want to do a um, video and a shout out to this uh, trap company. This looks like a pretty good little trap. I haven't caught anything in it yet. It just came in, but I was pretty impressed with the company. Um, it's called the Tomahawk. Hell, let me read it so I get it right. Tomahawk Live Trap. But on there it says Tough Trap and SnareShop.com. But I think I entered it off the Tomahawk website. Uh, I'll, have to, I'll, I'll put a link on where I entered it, but this company did a pretty good job. They sent it to me, and freaking FedEx has usual lazy, incompetent workers just throwing shit around. Bennett damaged it, and I was like, shit, I wanted to use it. I had an animal out here I was trying to catch. I didn't have a trap because it was bent. I called the company, and they were just fantastic. They just said, hey, you know what? We'll just send you out a new one, and then we'll send you a shipment receipt for the other one. They didn't make me return it. They didn't wait for me to get the thing back before they shipped the other one. Just, just top-notch company, and I kind of like the trap here, so I'm gonna kind of show you a few things about it. If I can get that in there. So on the back of the trap, it's got a uh, little pull switch that you pull this off, so you can load it. You load in here. Here's your triggering device. I don't know if you can see that. And then uh, you just slide this back down. So you load it from this end, and then on the front end, that triggering device is this little guy. So this goes up and down, and uh, they say set it like that, and now when the, uh, when the critter gets in there and touches the trap, the cage shuts, and this little thing right here hangs in the way and locks it. Pretty neat. This is pretty heavy duty PVC pipe. What I like, and, and the way FedEx damaged it, is they threw it on the ground and these bent so this door wouldn't come open. So these were bent when I got it. And these are pretty heavy duty steel. So you know FedEx had to be freaking super incompetent to try to do that. And everything I get from FedEx is always damaged and the package looks like shit. I mean, they're, they're, it's almost like they're competing with incompetence with the post office. Because they're getting bigger and the post office is so damn incompetent because we've got damn piece of shit federal and rules of employment that you gotta hire everybody incompetent because of their you know they use the third bathroom and you can't get any damn service at the post office so FedEx is right up there with them so anyway uh, good little trap when it falls it locks this little thing blocks it so it can't open and uh, like I said the biggest thing I liked about it is they didn't give me a bunch of BS when it came in damage didn't make me wait very nice lady just said, you know what, we'll get you a new one out in the middle of the day, and we'll send you a shipping receipt to turn the other one. And I just got the shipping receipt, so I need to return the other one probably today. I don't know if FedEx is open, but um, anyway, uh, nice trap. Uh, I like the way it works. W the, another good thing about this one is the other trap is if I catch a skunk, and a skunk's in here, a skunk usually don't squirt if you approach from the side. So if I approach and have to move this and he does squirt, I'm not going to get hit. So it kind of protects me. And because it looks like a tunnel, skunks and other critters usually go in the tunnels and drains, so it's almost like they want to go in that area. So I'm thinking it's going to be a pretty effective trap. I put some chicken in the other night, and uh, damn, ants got it. So the critter didn't get it because I put it out too early, and the ants end up getting all over it. So uh, good trap, great customer service. I'll put a link to their website on where I ordered it, and uh, just giving them a shout-out because it's hard to get good service nowadays. All right, we'll end that there.